working with ideas as opposed to material led us uh, back also into working with painting, but in a different way, in a conceptual way. My name is John Yang Zhu, and uh, I was born in the then British colony of Hong Kong and in 1967 during the so-called Great Proletariat Cultural Revolution in China, uh, I was actually sent to study in Australia. I like to see art as a vocation and I've been really working with my artwork all my life. However, I have been practicing professionally for about 40 years. The title Diaspora Psyche was actually used primarily because it was important to look at memory and how that functions in the way how people actually move from one place to another. So we're all from a lot of different diasporas in Australia other than the indigenous. So that sense of memory and the storytelling of that memory and learning from the different values of that memory is an important idea. This is actually the first time that two uh, separate cycles of work has been brought together. One is called the Double Ground Paintings, and this group of paintings I've been doing for the last 25 years. The other group is actually called the History Projects, and this group I've been working on for approximately 14 years, mainly using the idea of storytelling as a motivation to to work and to learn about the notions of memory and the diaspora. I think uh, storytelling is a very important thing, not only because uh, there are facts in history that we need to replicate, it's primarily to reimagine uh, historical events and values that people carry, that benevolence during trauma, all these sort of aspects are important to, for us to imagine and to learn. And I say that because as an artist, we don't just express things, we, we learn from the reimagination of these stories. I hope that people would feel that there's a way in art for us to rekindle our sense of memory. We're, that we're not just constantly in a moment of distraction as the media that we're faced with nowadays, that this sense of the rekindling of memory is uh, a very important way in which we discover how we relate to each other uh, cross-culturally. I think that art historically and in terms of civilization has always been related to the way we acquire knowledge. That I really felt deeply that knowledge needs to be plurally acquired and art is definitely a form of knowledge acquisition.